Hi guys, this is a short hands-on introduction video to the Simple FOC project. This is an open source project which aims to create a user-friendly, low-cost, field-oriented control implementation both in software and hardware. And in this video I'll show you the basic capabilities of the Arduino Simple FOC library. For this demo we'll be using this big BLDC gimbal motor with a hollow shaft through which I've put the screw and mount in the encoder too. And the encoder is the easy mount capacitive encoder with a configurable number of impulses per evolution which you can uh, just click on any type of shaft, even a screw, like this one. As a BLDC driver we are going to be using this Chinese gimbal controller board, Agent GBC. It features Atmega328 chip, two BLDC motor terminals and the USB to serial interface which makes it perfect for beginners. Now let me show you how easy it is to connect everything together. First you plug the encoder cables in and connect 5 volt and ground to the board itself. Then you connect A and B channel of the encoder to the analog pins of the board because digital pins are not accessible. And everything you need to do then is connect the motor to one of the terminals. And that's it, the hard part is done. Now you just connect the power supply, which is in my case just 12 volt LiPa battery, and finally USB cable in order to download the code and uh, since I'm using the serial terminal to send commands to Arduino. And that's it, we are ready for the demo, let's start. The motor is already running and holding its position and resisting my, my <laughs> attacks. <laughs> Basically, the first control loop I want to show you is the angle control loop, where you control the, the rotation angle of your motor. For example, let me move it 180 degrees. Maybe to negative 180 degrees. Or to zero again. Or maybe to 90 degrees. You can see that the motor moves quite fast. Negative 90 degrees and zero. You can see that angle control loop is quite fast, that the, the how fast and how slow it is, that's something you can set in the library directly. I'm, I set it to some value, for example, the velocity of movements in between the, the positions is, is uh, limited to 10 radians per second. In your application, maybe it's going to be 100, maybe it's going to be 0 0.2, I don't know. This is something that's uh, specific to the, the application. but. Uh, uh, this is this is uh, it's very easy to use. For example, I can move it ten rotations, not just one or similar. So this is ten rotations, and it comes back to the to the. Sorry, it's five rotations, five rotations, and then it comes back to the same location. So for example, let me move it to zero again. Back. You can see that the motor moves uh, moves pretty fast and smooth. Next control loop where what I want where uh, which I want to show you is the velocity control loop. So basically, you set the velocity you want to achieve. So at the moment, let me move it with half uh, half rotation per second. So this is our motor moving with half rotation, negative half rotation, maybe full rotation, or the other direction. It can go even faster and uh, negative but the cool thing about it is that it can go like this is a half rotation per second and it can go up <laughs> these these are the negative effects of vacuum cups so uh, so half rotation per second but it can go to something like one radian per second which is relatively slow or 0 0.5 radians per second even so you can see that the rotation is quite uh, still quite um, smooth 0 0.2 now the the how, how good the how good the algorithm performs in very slow rotations depends also on the parameters of the controller pi controller is inside that's something uh, also you can set uh, quite easily in the program and and uh, and parameter size your movements and uh, fine tune it to your applications for me at the moment it's quite untuned <laughs> in this in this sense so this is 1 radian per second and 0 of course with 0 it's going to try to not hold the position, but it's going to try to not move because the referent velocity, the set point velocity that I put was zero. So if I put it to one, it's going to move with one, but it's going to resist my, my even in either pushing or pulling both. 
to it's going to want to stay in one radian per second. The next control loop is pure field-oriented control algorithm, which um, allows you to set voltage to the motor directly. So in this sense, you don't have a BLDC motor anymore. You have brushed DC motor, regular DC motor, and it behaves the same. So you you, you are telling the, the, your controller how much volts, how many volts do you want to set to the motor. It sets it and the motor turns. It's exactly the same as the, the DC motor. So for example, if I put two volts, the motor is going to start turning. If I put minus two volts, it's going to turn on the other side. The, um, you are not controlling velocity, you are not controlling position. The only thing you are controlling is how many volts did you, are you setting to the motor. And basically what your controller does is just commutates, does the commutation which is done in hardware for regular DC motors. And here it's done in software. So your, your algorithm is following your motor while he's doing rotation. The, um, this control loop is more intended for people who have very cost custom applications where they don't want to use the control loops implemented in this library, but they need to implement their own control loops. One of such examples is a reaction wheel inverted pendulum project that I've recently done a video about. You should definitely check it out. It's very cool and it uses this library. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you got an idea how this library works and how easy it is to set up and that it got you motivated to use the BLDC motors in your project as well. And in the description you are going to be able to find the links to the GitHub repository where you can find more information about the Arduino library and the new Arduino field-oriented control shield. Thanks a lot for watching.